Friday, January 17th in the year 2020. Good morning, YouTube. I don't have coffee. I'm cutting back on the caffeine. I've got my water. Let me know. What are you going to share with PD in the comments section below? Do that now. Humor me. All right. Feeling a little better today. Heading out to Flint, Michigan with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Keep this ministry lifted up in prayer. So many are in need. Let me give you an update. My wife, Christy, she made me go to the doctor yesterday and they ran all kind of tests on me. Uh, an EKG and they did blood work and uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, EKG showed that the uh, heart rate was accelerated and uh, the blood work can be uh, hemoglobins were okay or something. Uh, I'm not anemic, but um, some of the counts were a little high and uh, it seemed like I'm not a, when he was listening to my lungs, seemed like there's a little issue there. So I got to go back on uh, February 6th. Keep me in prayer because I'm scared of doctors. I don't like doctors. But he did give me a prescription for sleep. So I got about five and a half hours, almost six hours sleep last night. So a uh, little more energy today. A little bit more energy today. So keep me lifted up in prayer. Pray that uh, we find a way to, uh, without medical insurance, to pay for all of these tests after the EKG and the uh, uh, the blood work uh, and the blood that was drawn, I'm I'm broke. We're broke now. So I used uh, all of my credit cards are out to the max and no way to pay them off when they're due next month. Oh, the devil! He is really really on the move. He's on the attack. Pray if you can find it in your heart and you want to help with my astronomical medical expenses and more to come. Many more to come. Um, if you give through PayPal or send in the mail, just leave a little tiny note, but, uh, uh, what it's for. Well, my goodness, my goodness, I don't know. I, I'm not really watching the news. I, I it's, we know what's going to happen with the impeachment trial of Donald Trump. Uh, the Senate is not going to go for any of that. I don't even care if they call witnesses or they don't. Who cares, really? Who cares? I don't care, do you? They're not going to impeach him. So, it's not going to happen. We all know the outcome anyway. You know, a trade deal with uh, uh, China and the economy booming. and uh, um, You can see the clear politics in all of this. The clear politics in all of this. What I'm watching for is our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm watching for our Messiah. I'm waiting for Him to break the sky. And come for the bride. I just want to be ready. And uh, I am ready to go home. <laughs> Let me tell you. I am, uh, I've been sick for over two months. Two and a half months. And uh, I'm homesick. I'm just ready to leave this evil, evil world. And uh, I got a feeling it's going to happen very, very quickly. Volcanoes erupting. Uh, uh, wildfires. Um, earthquakes. Uh, uh, Puerto Rico has been really blasted with earthquakes. I'm keeping an eye on the earthquake and uh, earthquake uh, situation and uh, all of the disasters going on worldwide uh, and the persecution of the church and the church in China and the underground tunnels and churches and uh, uh, all being persecuted. Brothers and sisters being attacked. Spiritual warfare, spiritual attack, evil wickedness in uh, high places. If you're a born-again Christian today, the enemy, the devil, is on the attack. Keep hope. And that hope is Jesus Christ. Keep your faith. Believe. Don't doubt. Um, I'm one to talk. When I've been through so much uh, with this sickness, I'm one to talk. But I want to preach the truth to you. Have faith and believe. Move that mountain out of your way that is in your life. I love you all. Pray for our ministry. Uh, ministry announcements, by the way. Our ministry is just uh, devastated. I mean, totally devastated. I don't really know what to do anymore. I've got some clothing and winter jackets to pass out today. But uh, financially, we're, I'm done financially with the medical expenses. Uh, credit cards maxed out. There's no more money. I don't know. 
I have no idea what we're going to do anymore, Christy and I. We've just been praying. And our ministry. We can't go out there without gas in the car and uh, uh, insurance and uh, all that it takes, uh, food, and uh, to be able to purchase uh, backpacks and everything that we need. Uh, we're just grounded. I want to thank Angela, $25 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless uh, yesterday. On the 16th, Brother Rob from our live online chat, $5. Sister Jane, $35 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. If you find your heart to support this ministry, all the links will be below. Where's that show more? Just click there. Take your mouse and click on the show more tab. And you can give through PayPal, Tithely, GoFundMe. I think a Tithely offering came in from Sister Wendy. I have to recheck. Uh, and um, you can send your offering in the mail. I love you all. If you find it in your heart to help me, with this financial disaster, with medical expenses, just leave a little note. Leave a little note. I love you all, and uh, I'll probably see you in a little while. God bless you, and love one another. Love one another today.